The new rule allowing travelers returning to England to take cheaper COVID tests starts today. To boost travel, the British government has implemented a new rule to allow a cheaper alternative to the PCR test for returning travelers. In this video, we talk about how the new rule works for travelers to England. Check out what you need to do when you return from your trip. But first, we want to thank you for joining us. Find us on all the other social media channels. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click that bell to get notified when we release a new video. We also appreciate your likes and comments below as it helps to support our channel. Oh, and don't forget to check out our website at immigrationandmigration.com. This video is brought to you by I am. We believe that travel improves and inspires you and the people around you. We help you travel by providing services which overcome barriers and frameworks that simplify and enrich your experience. We just happen to be immigration lawyers. So reach out to your IAM visa coordinator when you're ready for your adventure or already on one and would like some assistance. Travel testing rules will relax for returning holidaymakers who are fully vaccinated in what the UK government is describing as a huge boost for the travel industry. From 4 a.m. today, the 24th of October, fully vaccinated individuals arriving in England from a non-red list country can use a lateral flow test rather than the more expensive PCR version on or before day two. Lateral flow tests for international travel must be purchased from a private provider, as NHS test and trace lateral flow tests cannot be used for international travel. Bookings for lateral flow tests opened on the 22nd of October and can be purchased through the private providers listed on the government website. At present, there were 25 providers on the government website and prices ranged from £19 to £39. The Department of Health and Social Care said, passengers must send a photo of their test result to the private provider. Failure to do so could result in a fine of £1,000. Travellers are able to book a test, which they can take on their arrival into the UK, at testing centres located in some airports. Tests can be taken anytime, on or before the second day after your arrival. The government recommends taking it as soon as possible after landing. People who test positive will need to take a free NHS confirmatory PCR test and isolate. Anyone travelling onto Ireland, Northern Ireland, Scotland, Wales, the Channel Island, or the Isle of Man, in the 10 days after arrival in England, must follow the rules for testing and quarantine in those places. Health and Social Care Secretary Sajid Javid said, eligible travellers who've had the life-saving COVID-19 vaccine could benefit from a cheaper and quicker lateral flow test. This is a huge boost to the travel industry and the public. We'll make it easier and cheaper for people to book holidays and travel abroad. It is because of our incredible vaccine program that this is possible, he said. There are now just two lists, the red list and the rest of world list. Just seven countries remain on the red list, while rules for the rest of the world list depends on your vaccination status. Only British citizens and those with residence rights in the UK can travel from red list countries. The seven countries are Colombia, Dominican Republic, Ecuador, Haiti, Panama, Peru and Venezuela. Hotel quarantine will remain in place for all red list countries, regardless of vaccination status. This means anyone arriving in the UK 
from one of red countries, will have to quarantine in a government-designated hotel, for 10 days, at a cost of over £2,200 for a solo traveller. The rules for the rest of the world are as follows. For fully vaccinated travellers, you no longer have to take a pre-departure test before travelling to the UK. You do not have to self-isolate upon your return. You must take a day two lateral test after arriving back in the UK. If you are not fully vaccinated, you must still take a pre-departure test within three days before travelling to the UK. You must self-isolate for 10 days upon your arrival. You must take a day two and day eight PCR test. You may take an additional day five PCR test and be released from isolation early if you test negative. What are your thoughts on this issue? Talk to us in the comment section below. If you have plans to travel, check out the deals we have found in the description box below. If you need assistance with a visa to Europe, the UK, or the US, including help with securing your travel arrangements, I am can help. For visa advice, contact your I am visa coordinator. If you'd like to get more info on travel, visas, immigration, and citizenship, head over to immigrationandmigration.com for more free content. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell for more travel and visa updates.